Hey, Chris here to talk to you about Google Moderator. Google Moderator is a wonderful and free tool offered by, well, of course, Google. The point to Google Moderator is, let's say that you are in an audience of several hundred people and you're listening to a presentation. It's very difficult for that presenter to listen to all of the questions that someone might have. And of course, if we use the normal raised hand approach to deciding whose question to answer, it becomes a very random, you know, I'll answer this person's question, but not this person's because we've run out of time. And sometimes people have the tendency to ask questions that are, well, maybe not the questions that really need to be answered, or maybe they've asked a question that's already been answered and they just missed it and, you know, you don't want to listen to audible groans from the audience. So Google Moderator was invented as a way to vote up or down on questions. For example, let's say that in our audience of several hundred, we're listening to a presenter talk about widgets. I might ask the question, how can this widget be utilized in education? Perhaps other people that are also looking at the moderator page that was set up by the presenter, let's say they think that's a good question. They're going to mark that as yes, that's a good question. If they don't feel like that's a good question, they can mark that as no, we don't need to hear that, or that's already been answered, or whatever. Or, if, for example, I've written something inappropriate, now we hope that's not dirty, we hope that's just, I've asked a question about something, a topic that's quite irrelevant, they could mark flag as inappropriate. Once it's flagged as inappropriate by three people, that's kind of removed and placed for the presenter to look at only. But once we've done this, once the question has been voted up or down, then the presenter has the opportunity to answer the question. And he can see that in his audience, there are people that would like to learn how this tool can engage students, for example. Now, how could you use this in your ELL classroom? Well, I'm of the opinion that the more feedback we get from kids, the better. So if your ELL kids who might not speak such good English or they are learning, they might not be terribly confident in spoken English, which means that sometimes when you're lecturing or you're allowing them to work in groups, they might not necessarily understand quite what's going on. Sometimes ELL students are afraid to admit that. Through Google Moderator, you could have a computer set up discreetly in a corner, or if you have a one-to-one -one school, you, know, you could have this available kind of all times, and ELL students can use this to ask you questions. I find Google Moderator to be a marvelous tool, allowing, you can even allow for anonymous questions. And then once you've got questions, you can turn it into presenter view, or you could even use this uh, with a, a whole class. So if you had a whole class involved in this, you could have everybody submit their questions rather than having to uh, deal with the raised hand approach, which takes a lot of time, people have the same questions as other folks, so on. You could use Google Moderator for your whole class, making sure to pay attention to the questions that might be asked by ELL students.